In this video, we are going to learn the questions related with coordinate geometry. You can see here we have a question. Find the equation of line passing through the 2, 3 and perpendicular to the line this. We have perpendicular to the this. We have two questions. Uh, let's take a start. Question number 3. 1 and 2 I already uploaded before. So if you didn't watch till now that videos, please watch related with parallel. Okay so this one is question number three first of all i will draw the diagram so it will be very helpful for you if you understand the diagram find the equation of line passing through this we have to find out one equation of a straight line which is passing through the point two three and perpendicular to the line this here the equation of this line is 4x minus 3y is equal to 10 and this one is perpendicular okay hope you understand this one perpendicular it means what the slope of this two line is equal to minus one the product of this two slope is equal to minus one so given equation given equation is we have 4x minus 3y is equal to 10 or we can write here 4x minus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0 equation 1 now we have to find out slope of this line slope of equation 1 let's m1 is equal to what is the slope here minus coefficient of x coefficient of x means 4 and coefficient of y means minus 3 we can write here 4 by 3 minus minus cancel when 2 lines are perpendicular if two lines are perpendicular or when two lines are perpendicular then the product of slopes means m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 m2 means slope of required line this one line we are going to find out equation of this line equation is equal to what so m2 is the slope of this required line okay so m1 is equal to we have 4 by 3 so we have to write here 4 by 3 into m2 is equal to minus 1 now we have to cross multiply and we get value of m2 m2 is equal to minus 3 into 1 3 by 4 we get here m2 is equal to minus 3 by 4 after this we have a one point also 2 3 this equation is passing from 2 3 and we have a slope also so by using one point formula we can get equation of this line hence the equation of required line hence the equation of required line is we have to use one point formula y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 y minus x1 y1 x1 y1 what is here 3 so we have to write here 3 is equal to m means m2 we have to take the value of m2 minus 3 by 4 x minus x1 x1 means what is here 2 so we have to write here 2 now cross multiply 4 into y 4y minus 4 into 3 12 is equal to minus 3 into x minus 3x minus minus plus 3 into 2 6 now we have to arrange this one take both the terms to the left side here is minus 3x so we have to write plus 3x we have to change the sign if it is minus we have to write plus so sign will be changed now here plus 4y minus 12 and this plus 6 will be minus 6 is equal to 0 now we have to factor uh, solve this one 3x plus 4y minus 18 minus 12 minus 6 means minus 18 is equal to 0 which is required equation of state line okay which is required equation of a state line perpendicular to this line 4x minus 3y is equal to 10 we can do this by another method also any line perpendicular to this line is equal to what we can do like that also or you can do by in this process to hope you understand this question now look at question number four you can see here we have a question find the equation of perpendicular bisector of the line joining this and uh, two points are given we have to find out equation of perpendicular bisector bisector means what making two equal halves now i will show you in diagram two question number four two points is given here line joining two points two three and another is there 10 
15 after this what we have to find the equation of perpendicular bisector this perpendicular bisector we have to find it means this is the midpoint okay this one is the midpoint perpendicular bisector and we have to find out equation is equal to what's now thing now look at here these two lines are perpendicular each other it means slope of this line and slope of this line is equal to minus one product of their slopes is equal to minus one it means we have to find out m1 then we can get m2 now this line is passing from this point here bisector bisector means uh, this line divide line joining points into two equal parts it means this is the midpoint suppose this one is a this one is b and here p so we can let here let p x y be the midpoint of line joining points a 2 3 and b 10 15 okay now we have to use midpoint formula to find out p x y and the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 so what is the value of x1 x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 y1 x2 y2 okay so here x1 x2 means 2 plus 10 2 plus 10 by 2 and next 3 plus 15 3 plus 15 by 2 hope you understand up to here after this 12 by 2 and here 18 by 2 so what we get here 6 and here 9 so p is equal to we get 6 9 okay so this line is passing through how much 6 9 this line is passing through 6 9 now we got one point of this line now we have to find out slope then we have to use one meet one point formula and we can get equation of this line now to find out slope of this line first of all we have to find out slope of a b so let's find out the slope of a b slope of a b right here m1 two point is given equation of line is not given equation of line then uh, coefficient of x by coefficient of y we have to take but here two points is given so we have to use formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 now you can see here x1 y1 x1 y1 x2 y2 so here 15 minus 3 by 10 minus 2 so what we get here 15 minus 3 we get 12 and here 8 now uh, 4 3 is a 12 4 2 is a 8 so we get here 3 by 2 this is the value of m2 if two lines are perpendicular they are perpendicular to each other cooler then what happened product of their slopes is equal to minus 1 when two lines are perpendicular each other then product of their slopes is equal to minus 1 m1 is equal to we get here 3 by 2 into m2 is equal to minus 1 m2 means slope of required line this one line okay so m2 is equal to cross multiply we get minus 2 by 3 now we have a slope of this line and this line is passing from 6 9 so by using one point formula we get equation of this line so hence the equation of line is hence the equation of straight line is we have to use one point formula because we have a one point and one slope so y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 y minus y x1 y1 what is the value of x1 and y1 x1 is 6 y1 is 9 we get here midpoint because about uh, they are talking about bisector so y1 is equal to 9 m is equal to minus 2 by 3 x minus x1 x1 is equal to 6 now let's cross multiply uh, 3 into y 3y minus 9 3 is a 27 is equal to minus 2x minus minus plus 2 6 is a 12 now take both the terms to the left side and what will happen here when you take 2x plus 3y minus 27 it is plus 12 so minus 12 is equal to 0 now when you calculate this 
uh, 2x plus 3y minus 39 which is required equation of perpendicular line perpendicular line means this one so equation of perpendicular line is equal to what we got here 2x plus 3y is equal, minus 39 is equal to 0 or you can take this 39 to the left side too so hope you understand this uh, question uh, two questions which i done today related with coordinate geometry question number one and two i already uploaded if you didn't watch please watch it so you will get the more information and if you understand this video please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel please subscribe and uh, hit the bell button so you will get the notification of upcoming videos too and if you have any kind of confusion in uh, coordinate geometry you can join my facebook page and facebook group in which is given in description and you can send me messages from there thanks for watching till last please please support and share with your friends please share with your friends okay thank you so much keep supporting have a great day